Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sam from Historic Travels. And guys, yesterday when I woke up, I found out about the very sad news coming out of Baltimore, Maryland. In case you guys haven't heard about it, um, in the early hours of the morning yesterday, a cargo ship collided with a bridge there and caused the entire structure to fall almost immediately following the impact. And when I learned about it and I began researching it, I decided that I wanted to make this short little video, you know, briefly going over the event and what we know for certain happened. And I also want to hypothesize a little bit on what some of the causes might have been that, you know, led to this disaster happening. Now, it's impossible to say for certain, you know, everything that happened that caused this to happen because this is an ongoing event. Now, typically, I don't make videos about ongoing events unless there's some kind of major event in maritime history. And when that happens, I'll make an exception, like what I'm doing right now. The last time I made a video like this was when the Titan sub imploded. You know, I just began researching it. And I began reporting on the facts. And that's basically what I want to do here. I want to talk about, you know, what happened, what evidence we have, and then, you know, ultimately try to hypothesize on what caused this disaster to unfold. Okay, so what do we know happened? Well, at exactly 1.28 a.m. on March 26th, a cargo ship called the MV Down collided with one of the primary support piers of the Francis Scott Key Bridge located in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, a few seconds after the collision, the entire bridge, which spanned a length of roughly 1.6 miles, collapsed. Now, many of you, including myself, are wondering how something like this could have happened. Well, unfortunately, we don't have all the answers yet, but there are a few things that we know for certain. The ship was in the middle of some kind of crisis on board in the minutes leading up to the collision, and this crisis caused the ship to lose all electrical power. If you take a look at surveillance footage of the bridge in the minutes leading up to the crash, you can see the cargo ship approaching the bridge, and you can see the lights flashing on and off as the ship's power comes on, and it turns off again. This happened several times in the minutes leading up to the impact. Now, at the time of the power failure, the ship was traveling roughly eight knots, which is equivalent to more or less nine miles per hour. Now, you might be wondering, okay, that isn't very fast. How could something traveling that fast knock down an entire bridge? But what you have to remember is how massive of an object we're talking about with this cargo ship. And the bigger an object is, the more force it applies to whatever it hit. You see, the MV Dali weighs around 95,000 gross tons. That's about double what the Titanic weighs. So yeah, you can see how if something this big hit something like a bridge's support pier, that could definitely cause a collapse. Now it appears that the vessel was getting ready to pass underneath the bridge in the minutes leading up to the collision. It looks like that as the vessel was approaching the bridge, the crew of the cargo ship were trying to turn the ship to get it into the right position to pass underneath the bridge right around the time that the ship lost all electrical power. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, I'm assuming that that means that when the ship's power went out, the crew lost their ability to steer the ship. And what I think happened was the vessel was already in the process of turning, and when the power failed, they couldn't correct the turn, and the ship turned too much, and this is what caused it to slam into that support pier on the bridge. I don't know if when the power goes out on a cargo ship like this, if the ship does lose all helm control. If anybody like watching this video has any information on that, please leave in the comments. I'd be very curious to read it. And I am also curious if there is any way to operate the ship without electricity. But anyway, that's my best guess on why the ship hit the pier. I think it was just a very unlucky coincidence that the ship's power failed at the worst possible time. And then when that happened and the crew was scrambling to try to get it, the ship was just basically a massive floating mass, you know, like it was just this big floating mass that you had no control of and it was in the process of turning and then it slammed into the bridge and disaster struck. Now I did do some research to figure out if there were any lives lost, like if there were any people on the bridge, any cars on the bridge at the time of the collision. And from watching the surveillance footage of the minutes leading up to the collision, there were a lot of vehicles passing over the bridge that barely avoided disaster and I couldn't really see any vehicles on the bridge based on the surveillance footage but unfortunately it is confirmed that there were around 20 cars on the bridge at the time of the incident and I also did see that there were six workers doing maintenance to the bridge at the time of the collapse 
There isn't any word yet um, how many people were in the cars uh, that were driving across the bridge when the bridge collapsed. But I did see that a red pickup was recovered today, a pickup truck, and that there were two victims inside the truck. So unfortunately, it is all but confirmed that there are definitely going to be more casualties reported from this horrible disaster as more time goes by. Okay, so now the ultimate question that I'm sure is on everyone's mind. What kind of a disaster was this? Was this disaster a freak accident? Was this disaster caused by somebody being careless? Or the worst option, was this disaster caused by somebody intentionally ramming the cargo ship into the bridge? Well, right away, I think we can rule out the last one. Because if you take a look at the surveillance footage, you can see the ship's lights turning on and off as it's approaching the bridge. And this tells me that there was some kind of major situation with the ship's engines or electrical systems or something in the minutes leading up to it. So ultimately, I think that was the reason why the ship collided with the bridge. I don't think it was the fault of anyone in particular. But now, those last, those first two options, sorry, those first two options I said, you know, was this a freak accident or was this caused by someone being careless? I'm not too sure. You see, I don't for a second think that this accident was caused by someone being careless on the ship's helm or anything. The only way that I could see this being an accident caused by people being careless is if there was some kind of problem with the ship's engines that the crew knew about and ignored, thinking that they would be okay until this horrible catastrophe happened. That kind of thing isn't unheard of. I'm pretty sure that happened back in 2013 with the Carnival Triumph fire. If I remember correctly, I think the crew knew that the ship had engine problems, but they went anyway. And uh, yeah, the ship got stuck out at sea. And um, didn't they call that the poop cruise because the ship had no plumbing system or whatever? But anyway, get my point. So I don't know if something like that happened. It could just be the case that the ship was being taken care of properly and there was just some kind of freak thing that happened at the worst possible time. And this is why the ship hit the bridge. I was a little curious about all of the smoke that you could see coming up from the ship. It's probably just exhaust smoke, but the one thing that caught my eye was how thick the smoke was. I didn't think exhaust smoke was that thick coming from a ship like this, uh, which suggested to me it was potentially an engine fire, but I haven't seen any information on that, no confirmation on that. And maybe cargo ships, maybe their exhaust smoke is just thicker than other vessels that I've seen. So maybe that's why I drew that conclusion. But again, that's just me guessing. So, but yeah, um, unfortunately, it's just, it's too soon for us to know for certain why the ship lost power and everything that led up to the collision. We just don't know yet, but we definitely will have more information in the coming days or weeks as the investigation carries forward. All right, everybody. Well, with that, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys in today's video. I am going to do my best to try to keep up to date with all the, you know, updates with this awful disaster. I might make another video about this as we learn more and just kind of, you know, report on all the latest updates and new information about it as it becomes known. But in the meantime, guys, let's just try to keep all the victims of this terrible disaster in our prayers and hope that those that are investigating this disaster can figure out the cause so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Y'all take care, and I'll see y'all in the next one.